What's up guys, it's Vector Designs here, and after much request, I am finally making GIMP tutorials. So this is going to be an ongoing um show in my in my channel and I'll keep making videos. So if you have any requests, just put it down in the in the comments and I'll see if I can make a dis uh, I can make a tutorial. So t this this episode, the first episode, is going to be just about getting GIMP and getting to know all of the tools that you're going to be using. So the first thing that you're obviously going to have to do is get GIMP. So you're going to open up whatever you want, like Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever, and you're going to type in GIMP 2.8 Softonic. And you should have this right here. And you'll be able to download GIMP 2.8. So once you do that, open up all the files, download it, whatever. And you should get this right here. GIMP 2. And so you're going to open that up. <coughs> uh, sometimes it takes a while to load, but I tried this before. So it's already loaded, you know. Alright, so after it's loaded, um, you're going to get something that looks like this. Actually, you might get something that looks like this, where all, all these selections are out. And you don't want this. So what you're going to do is go to Windows, Single Window Mode, and you're going to click that. That way you're going to get the full layout. <coughs> so I'm going to create a new image, just you know, normal size, and we're going to go over all the all the different tools that you can use. So the first thing is the rectangle select tool, and this one, this one, the ellipse, the free select tool, the fuzzy, and the fuzzy select tool is uh, all all the different things that you can use to select. So first of all, the rectangle select tool is just hold down and drag out and you can create uh, a rectangle once you let go it will create that selection now if you want to fill that in with a color you can fill it in with black I'm going to just undo that control Z to undo and to undo the selection just do control shift A and it will go away and there's a whole bunch of things you, you can do with this you can do uh, rounded corners so if I do this and I do the radius, bring the radius up you can see that it gets rounder um, and then the next thing that we'll go over is the ellipse tool so you create circles, ovals, ellipses yeah same thing applies drag out, let go, it will create the selection control A to undo that now there's a free select there's two things that you can do with the free select so you can hold it down and you could just draw around the thing and it will be exactly what you draw or you could do points so just click to create a point and it will create straight lines just connect it bam you have it okay now you have the fuzzy select tool and that will select all of around the same color so if I just take out say let's see if if I draw a line here and I take the fuzzy select tool and I click the line it's going to select only the black part and uh, it's mainly going to select just the black part and you can see if I zoom in control and use your scroll wheel on your mouse you can see that it leaves some out so what you're going to do is bring up the threshold and depending on your threshold sorry depending on your threshold you'll be able to you know uh, get more of it alright so this tool is select by color I rarely use this I hardly use the scissors tool. I don't use the foreground select tool either. So we're just gonna skip over those. I d I hardly think you need that. 
So then we have the pen tool. And what you could do with this is basically the same thing. You can create points, but the, but the difference between this and this and this and the free select tool is that you can make curves. So if you hold this down, you're gonna hold a point. You're you're going to hold a point. You're gonna hold your mouse button down. You're gonna press hold if you hold control, and you could curve it. So see now I have a loop. The bad thing about this is that it continues the curve when you do the next point. So see it can it uh continued it. I can't can't have a straight line if I curve and do a straight line. So yeah. That's mainly used to to you know like cut around uh uh a picture. Then we have the color picker. So whichever layer you're on, you're going to click it and then automatically your color will be that. Magnify tool you don't really need to use this since your magnify is right down here. Uh, move tool, pretty self-explanatory. You can move it around. Uh, align tool, it's I sometimes use this, but like say I created a say I created a box like this. Let me fill it in with a different color. I have a green box. So wait, that was a mistake. You have to make sure it's on a new layer. And if you click this, you can center it. It'll let me center it. If it will let me center it, I'm probably gonna cut that out. Okay. I don't know what's going on. But okay. Here's the crop tool. If you select something and you hit enter, it now became smaller. See before it was a uh, 640 I believe. Now it's 498. Make it even smaller. Smaller. See ya. Here's the rotate tool. You can rotate stuff, images, or you can do very exact angles. Uh, scale tool. You can make this bigger or smaller. Shear tool. I don't use very often. Perspective tool. It's just pretty self-explanatory. You can see um, how the perspective is of it. Looks like it's 3D, kind of ish. Yes. Okay. Um, flip tool. If I draw something on this. Flip to the other side. I would do vertical. Vertical. Okay. I'm just going to delete that. And then we'll go into some of my favorite tools. You don't need to know about that. There's the text tool. Type in something, change the color, change the size. Hi. Okay, delete that layer. Bucket fill, pretty self explanatory. Just pick the color, just click that, and then you can choose the color you want. Color picker right here. Here's your two colors, uh, background and foreground. You have the gradient tool, which, uh, if you have the first color as, say, I wanted it to be purple, and the other one I want it to be blue, there's the gradient. You can select linear, bilinear, radial, square, 
conical. Oh, you could just read it. But what it does is a gradient is a uh, smooths out two colors together. So if I click and drag out, it'll show exactly from blue to pink and all the colors in between. Okay. So then we have the pencil tool. Yeah. So it does exact points, pixels. The brush tool lets you, you, you could download brushes of anything you want. And let's, let's see, let's see which one. I will take a splatter brush. Which I probably need to do a new thing for. It's so big. But whatever. You can have you just different brushes. Erase tool. Self explanatory. You can erase stuff. If there is a background underneath it. Put that underneath. Click on this one. Erase. You see I have that selected, so it's going to erase that color. Just delete that. Airbrush tool. It gives you more of a uh, airbrush effect, I guess. You can go over to make it darker. Ink tool, I don't use clone tool. I'll get into that in another video because it's a little complicated. Healing tool, you don't use. Respective clone tool, you don't use. Blur, self-explanatory, just blurs out an image. Smudge tool, same thing, just drag out and it'll smudge the image. And then dodge and burn tool. So that Dodge makes it uh, lighter, burn makes it darker. So if you you just select the brush that you want, I would suggest a um a brush that is like feathered around the edge, so that um it goes together better. Wow. Okay, I'll be right back. It's recording. Sorry about that. I'll cut that out. Um, but as where, where was I when I stopped? I'm sorry, somebody called me. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. So we went through all the tools, and I reviewed all the tools. So now we'll look at some of the windows. So the first thing you're gonna have is layers. Layers in is an extremely important thing when you use like Photoshop or GIMP or anything like that so this button right here is to create a new la new layer and what you could do with that is basically what it says create new layers so if I dye this layer so if I dye this layer pink I put this layer on top and I say drew a bl two bl three blue dots right there I can take this layer and I can put it underneath this and it'll disappear. But if I take this and I lower the opacity, you can see it again. See that? And that's basically all you need to know about GIMP. I will come back with another tutorial, probably two in one day because this one was really short. But, uh, yeah next episode we will start uh, making a you know what you pick what you guys want do you want to, uh, me to walk you through a background a desktop background or a YouTube background uh, so comment below on that and any other suggestions
So, see ya guys. This is Vector Designs.